Hello everyone, today I am going to be filming a 24 hour makeover video. I'm pretty sure I do one of these every single year at this point. Um, so here is this year's one. I'm mainly doing it because I'm about to dye my hair and I thought I would film myself doing it because it's a colour I've never done before. Like this is really different for me. And yeah, I'm just going to be giving myself a little bit of a makeover. This is me before. I've literally done nothing to myself, but over the next 24 hours, I'm going to be dyeing my hair. I'll style it. I'll do my makeup. I'll pick an outfit, I might do some other extra little bits um, and yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. So yeah, like I said, the first thing I'm gonna do is sort out my hair because this is what it's looking like at the moment. I don't know what has happened, like <laughs> I feel like the purple has just left this really weird tinge to my hair, like it's barely even blonde anymore, it's, it's made it go quite dark and it just looks really strange, it's a really icky colour, I really don't like it, I need to cover it up. The thing is, is I really love the purple like I really loved it when I first did it. It was just the most perfect purple colour. It was like a really nice cool toned purple. I really really loved it but I just could never get it to go like that again. Like every time I re-dyed it it never looked like that. So I've kind of given up. I feel like I'm never going to get that colour again so I give up. We're moving on to a different colour. Plus I kind of fancy a change anyway. So today we're going to dye this part red <laughs> which I'm like why am I doing that? I don't actually really like the colour red. <laughs> but I think red hair can look so cool um, and I just fancy something really different so yeah I'm gonna be dyeing this part red I'm also gonna be re-dyeing the dark bit because it has kind of faded I like it when it's like proper black and um, but it has kind of faded to a dark brown and I also need to redo my roots I don't know if you can see but my roots are coming through so yeah I'm gonna be fully re-dyeing my hair and that is the first thing I'm gonna go and do so I, I think that is it. Oh, I'm gonna go and like section off my hair first. You don't wanna watch me do that. It's very boring and it takes a long time because obviously I've got to like separate the light and the dark. So I'm gonna go and do that and then I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys? I'll meet you in the bathroom. Um, and yeah, you can watch me dye my hair. Enjoy. Okay, so I look a little bit ridiculous, but this is how I dye the dark part of my hair without getting it on the lighter part. I basically section them off and then I use these little strip things to kind of like act as a barrier so I don't get any dark dye on the lighter bit. Um, these are actually meant to be used for like bleaching your hair, but they work pretty well for this. So I've just stuck them all the way around. This is the one that I use. It is a box dye and I feel like people always say box dyes are bad, but I think these work really well. I, I I like them. I've used them for years. This is by the brand Clairo, and it did I say that right? Clairo. I don't know. And it's their nice and easy demi permanent hair dye. I use the shade black. So you just open the developer, and then you pour in the color. Just like that. <laughs> Put the lid back on and then you have to shake it like crazy. I don't know why I'm doing this like a tutorial. I'm pretty sure you know how to use a box dye or you probably don't care, but I'm just telling you anyway. Oh my goodness, wait, have I got that on? Okay, I think that's enough. And then just take the top off. And um, this bit, you're just gonna have to, just, just don't watch, just stop looking. If you're a hairdresser especially, do not watch this. I don't know what I'm doing. I just squirt it on and rub it in. And it seems to always work okay for me. So <laughs> I think it's fine, but yeah, I don't do any kind of technique. Oh, I need to put my gloves on. I don't do any technique. I just whack it on. So yeah, I just start off by squirting it on my roots because obviously they're the lightest bit where it's kind of like grown out. Um, and I just rub it in like this. I might just cut to when I've done because this is very boring. It's just me rubbing stuff into my hair. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, so I've put the dye all over my hair. I think I've done a good job. I think I've covered everything. Um, I've now got to leave it for, why did I just touch it? I've got to leave it for 15 minutes. Yeah, it's 15 minutes and then I'll rinse it off. 15 minutes, wash it off and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I've rinsed off the black dye and I've just shoved my hair up in like a little bun just to keep it out of the way. We're now going to move on to the red. This is the exciting part slash I'm kind of nervous because I might hate this. So the dye that I'm using is by Arctic Fox and this is in the shade Wrath. This is just like their darker red shade. They do have like a brighter one but I thought I'd go for a slightly kind of deeper darker red. Let's get on with it. I'm just going to squirt some out into here. Okay, I'm just gonna squirt it out like this. 
That is red. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously, but like that looks like a bright red, doesn't it? I'm so glad I didn't get the even brighter red because this looks like a bright red. Arctic Fox hair dyes smell so good. If anyone's used them, do you agree? It's like the nicest smell. I don't know how they make hair dye smell so good, but oh my God. It smells so good. <laughs> okay, I think that should be enough. This is actually super easy because with the purple one, I had to mix together a bit of purple and a bit of blue. With this one, I'm just going straight in with the red as it is, no mixing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna put some gloves back on and I guess I'll just get started. Please don't be ugly. I just have a really bad feeling that this is not gonna look good on me and I'm gonna really regret it. But I guess it doesn't matter because it will, it will rinse out, won't it? It's only semi-permanent. Okay, the first bit is going on. I just realised I'm gonna look like I've committed a murder by the end of this. <laughs> ah. Strand number one is done. I think I'm gonna time lapse this bit um, just cause it's, it's pretty repetitive. I'm just gonna be doing this around my whole head. So yeah, I'm gonna time lapse it. Okay, I think my hair is fully covered. I'm also covered, like it's such a mess. There's red everywhere. So hopefully it washes off with my skin okay. I now have to leave it for, I think it's like an hour with this one. Yeah, with the purple I left it an hour. So I'm gonna leave it for an hour and then I'll rinse it off and I think I'll show you guys tomorrow morning because um, the lighting's starting to go a bit. So I'll show you in the morning um, the finished result. Hopefully it looks good. Good morning, it is now the next day. Um, my hair is bright red. I don't know what I was expecting. I mean, I just dyed it red, but like it is bright red and I don't know if I like it, but I haven't styled it yet. I'm gonna style it in a minute with you guys and I guess I'll decide afterwards if I like it. But right now, it, I just, it's just, it's very red. <laughs> I don't know, I think I was expecting a slightly more like deeper, maybe like toned down red, but this is like, vibrant so yeah I don't know we'll, we'll see what I think when it's styled also the back of my neck is a little bit stained I'm guessing that will come off eventually I hope so so last night before I went to bed I did some little like extra steps to my skincare routine um I thought as I'm doing a makeover video I'll do some extra things that I've been doing every now and again recently if I want to give my skin a little extra something something <laughs> I tried the brand Laneige I think about three or four months ago for the first time um and I've really really been loving their products they've actually very kindly sponsored this little section of the video if you haven't heard of Laneige before. They are a South Korean K-beauty skincare brand who are experts in hydration and sleeping masks. These are three of their products that I've really been loving at the moment. So first of all, this is their water bank serum. Firstly, how cool is the packaging? I think the first thing I noticed about this brand is their packaging is so nice. So yeah, this is the serum. It contains blue hyaluronic acid for long lasting hydration and peptide for anti-aging um, and I just apply this to my skin and it leaves it feeling so hydrated. Next we have the water sleeping mask. This one you apply before you go to bed and then you actually leave it on whilst you're sleeping and then rinse it off in the morning. Again super hydrating. This one actually contains probiotics for intense hydration um, and I really like how when you apply it it has like a cooling effect on your skin. I always find my skin looks extra moisturized and extra glowy um, um, the next morning if I've used this. And finally, my personal favorite is the lip sleeping mask. So again, you apply this before you go to bed and oh my God, how cute is the little spatula that comes with it. I, I really enjoy the spatula. <laughs> okay, this is easily the best lip product I've ever tried at keeping my lips moisturized and hydrated. Like I don't think I've ever found something that works as well as this. It contains antioxidants that gently exfoliate the lip surface. I think even after the first time I used it, I noticed a difference um, and my lips were a lot less dry and they looked healthier. So yeah, I've really, really been loving this. It's definitely my favorite. And yeah, this is what my 
skin and my lips are looking like after using those products the night before. If any of you guys want to check out any of these products that I've mentioned or have a look at their others, Laneige are available at Cult Beauty, Look Fantastic, Beauty Bay and Selfridges if you're in the UK and they're available in Sephora if you're in Europe. So yeah, go and check them out if you want to. I've been really loving their products um, and yeah, that is, that is my little extra skincare that I did last night. So next I'm just doing my makeup. I thought I'd just time lapse this because I recently did a video where I kind of showed my everyday makeup routine in a bit more detail so I didn't want to bore you guys with that again so yeah this is just me doing my makeup And then I moved on to doing my hair. So I'm just clipping my little fringy bits back in the curler. Um, this is me realizing just how red my hair is looking in the viewfinder. And then I just styled it how I always do. I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys a million times before how I do my hair. Um, I just put a bit of heat defense spray in it, brush it through, and then I section it off and I curl it with the Primark curlers. I'm still using the Primark ones. I, I really like them. Um, so yeah, this is me doing my hair. Okay, whilst I'm waiting for my little fringy bits to do their thing, um, I thought I would put on a different outfit so I'm not just wearing a gray sweatshirt. Um, I actually made an order from a website and bought a bunch of new tops. So hopefully one of them is good and I can wear it for this video to kind of finish off the look. I ordered from a website called Cider because I've seen it keep coming up on my Instagram adverts. So I thought, let's have a look. There's some nice things on there. Let's give them a try. And I ordered quite a few things. Here it is. Um, I'm just gonna open it and see if there's at least something in here that I can wear for this video. <laughs> okay, this is the first thing. It's kind of hard to show, but it's basically like a little top like this, but then it's got like an attached hoodie on it. It's like a little tiny cropped, well, it's like, it's not even a hoodie. This is how much hoodie there is, that much hoodie. But you know what I mean? It's one of those ones where it's like cut out there and then you've got the fabric there and then you've got the hood, you've got the sleeves. Um, yeah, I thought it looked quite cool. It feels all right, actually. This doesn't feel bad quality. It feels quite soft. Okay, next I got a little cropped t-shirt top type thing. Um, it is just a black crop top. It's got this like exposed stitching where it's like contrasted. So obviously the stitching is white, which I think looks quite cool. And then it's just got this butterfly logo on it, which I thought looked quite cool. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I feel like the sleeves are very small though. I prefer like a bit of sleeve and I feel like in the picture it looked like it had a bit more sleeve, but that's okay. I, I think it's cute. And again, this doesn't feel too bad quality. It feels quite nice. Okay. I also got this little top. It's I got this little top, it's black, it's got long sleeves, it's cropped, but it's got this kind of like ruched bit around here, do you know what I mean? Um, and then it's got a little gold zip just there. It's cute! Oh feck, now I can't get the zipper to go back up. Are you kidding me? <gasps> I did it. Okay, I think this looks really nice. It's pretty simple, but I think it's just a cute little long sleeve top. Okay. This does not feel quite so nice. This is a weird material. What even is this? Oh, this is a little bodysuit. So this is just a black bodysuit type thing. You've got little uh, sleeves on it. It's got a little collar as well. I just thought this was a little bit different to like the other bodysuits that I have. It's got a little collar. It's got little buttons going down. Um, it's in like a ribbed material, but it's not a very nice ribbed material. It feels really thin and kind of like... I don't know, just a bit weird. <laughs> and then finally, I think this is the reason I made the order. I think this was the thing that caught my eye in an Instagram ad and then I went and bought a load of stuff. Um, I saw this hoodie. I feel like this could have been a catfish and it could have been really rubbish, but it feels all right. <gasps> it's actually quite soft on the inside as well. Um, yeah, it's just like a zip up hoodie, but I really liked the little like design on it. It's kind of like, it's like a butterfly. I don't know what it says. Oh, oh, it literally says butterfly. Yeah, I like it. You got a hood. It's quite like oversized and, or did I size up actually? Hang on. Oh, I got it in an extra large. Okay, so it's probably not oversized, but you can obviously size up if you want to. Yeah, I think this looks nice. It feels really comfy. It feels soft and squishy and cozy. Yeah, I like it. Um, I'm gonna pick something now to put on 
to finish the video. Okay, so I went for the little crop top because it's the only one that kind of like has my arms on show because I've just had an idea. I'm thinking we go for a temporary tattoo. I just feel like it will finish the look off nicely. And I've got so many of these lying around from like old videos that I used to do. I feel like we may as well make use out of it. So I'm gonna stick one on me. Um, oh, this is the finished hair though. I'm not having the best fringe day. I don't think I left it in the thing long enough. I actually really like the red now. Like now that I've styled it, I think it looks really cool. Obviously let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do, do we like the red? Do I like it more than the purple? I think the initial purple will always be my favorite. Like the first time I did the purple but I still like the red let's let's stick this on me I'm thinking like here would that work I don't know maybe not <laughs> it's just like a little flower thing with some dangly bits on it if I actually got a tattoo I don't think I'd go for this but um it's all I've got <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna cut it out um and then I think you just peel off the cellophane this is really hard to get it to like actually bend round. I also just remembered I need water for this, don't I? You have to put water on it and then it sticks. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, I'm gonna do my tattoo and then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I now want this in real life. I was literally just saying if I got a tattoo I probably wouldn't go for this. No, I want this. I think it looks really cool. I mean the actual like temporary tattoo itself is a bit dodgy. Um, there are some bits that kind of flaking off but Oh my god, why do I have to be so squeamish? I I literally would not be able to get a tattoo. Like, I physically would not be able to. I would die. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it, but I really want one. <laughs> and there we go. This is my overall finished look. This is my result from my 24-hour makeover. I think I look better, right? I hope so. I hope I wasn't all for nothing. I, I, I feel better, and I'm happy with how the hair turned out. I now want a freaking tattoo, so we've got a dilemma on our hands because I don't know what to do. I got some new clothes. And there we go. <laughs> overall, I'd say my makeover was a success um i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up if you did and yeah i'll see you very soon bye, -bye.